But what were we talking about? Crypto? Oh yeah, so Monero's looking pretty good actually. Now that they've announced the atomic swaps are going live. Lucy, Lucy Ben, I'm gonna cross the road, Lucy, I'll pick you up. Lucy, just hang on one second. <laughs> And uh, fire chain, uh, just as I left, it's starting to move up. It's, it went below four for a bit. It's moving up a lot right now. It's coming out with atomic swaps. It's doing its hard fork soon. When that gets done, it'll probably get listed on major exchanges. We'll see like double digits very quickly on pirate chain uh, and could even go like 30 to 50 bucks in the next month or two. And then when they have the atomic swaps, 100 bucks, and it's four bucks right now. So you, <laughs> you might want to get in on that. And as I said, everyone's going to be getting into privacy coins. Here's the Australia tax office to prompt 400,000 crypto holders to report their gains. Concerned about crypto investors evading taxes and extortion, the Australian extortion office has set out to debunk the myth that cryptocurrency gains are only taxable when digital assets are converted into fiat money. People often think the digital coins are currencies, but in reality, they're classified as assets. And gains from cryptocurrency trades are likely gains from other investments. The tax, the extortion authority explained. ATO has estimated that 600,000 horrible Australians have invested in cryptocurrency recently amid the surging popularity of crypto trading and rising market prices. The agency is now going to try, going, now going to send warning letters. Oh, I love the warning letters. Crumple those up or wipe your ass with them and send it back to 100,000 uh, tax slaves asking them to review their previously filed returns. Oh yeah, I'll get right on it. Another 300,000 Aussies will be prompted to report their gains and losses from cryptocurrency deals as they lodge their 2021 tax return. Now, if any of those people had Monero or Pirate Chain, and especially if they got it through an atomic swap, they would say, oh, I lost uh, my crypto in a boating accident. And the Australian extortion agency will track it and go, oh yeah, it moved and it went to someone else and we know who that is and that, that's not you because they track everything in Bitcoin. And uh, do you think a lot of people will be starting to get into privacy coins? It's actually, it was supposed to be, Bitcoin was supposed to have privacy in it. Satoshi talked a lot about this. It was all in their, what they call op codes and stuff like that, ready to be turned on and they just never got turned on. The problem is, you have to start at the very beginning. And, you know, in, uh, you know, to give Satoshi, like, amazing, whoever it is, or whatever team it was, just an amazing idea. They couldn't foresee everything. So, and they didn't necessarily have the technology. It took years to develop a lot of this technology to actually start Bitcoin as a privacy coin for the beginning. But I think it's crystal clear, and it will become crystal clear to almost everybody in the world in the next few years, if they're still alive, <laughs> That's the other thing. If they're still alive, they'll realize it's insane to have internet money that anyone can track anything you do with it. <laughs> It'd be like someone, be, everyone in the world being able to read your credit card statement as you charge things. So like, if you went to a strip club and you paid in Bitcoin, it'd be very easy for a lot of people to go, oh, Jeff just went to a strip club and he's got you know, a few thousand dollars of Bitcoin in his wallet. <laughs> like that's insane. And people are gonna start realizing that. And as they do, piracy, uh, privacy coins are one of the only chances to get rid of Klaus Schwab, the Great Reset, governments, central banks. And I still hear some people saying, oh, you know, anything cryptocurrency, it's a government scam, they're on the inside. No one said that until just recently. No, it's all been started by a narco capitalist. Even Bitcoin was planned in the 90s by the cypherpunks, which are basically all anarcho-capitalists. And now we've finally got the perfect privacy coin or cryptocurrency, which you shouldn't even call a privacy coin. It should be like, that should, it'd be like calling gold privacy gold. Like if I said, I've got some privacy gold. And someone would say, what's that? And I'd be like, gold. And they'd say, why do you call it privacy? It's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's like it's buried in my backyard. It's obviously private. Why am I even mentioning that? And of course, cryptocurrencies should be all privacy coins and they will be. And we will make fortunes. Like everyone who wanted to buy Bitcoin at three bucks, this is your second chance. Pirate Chain's at four bucks. Monero's at 200 bucks. It'd be like buying Bitcoin 
at four or 200 bucks. And it's gonna move fast in the next few years. If anyone's still alive, that's the only thing. But the thing is, who cares? Enjoy the ride. We're having a ton of fun. And even if it's a zombie apocalypse, we'll be out here just, you know, mowing them down. And, uh, you know, you know, really, like, what, part of our plan is to build this ranch and to grow as much food as possible. And then if there's, like, thousands of people in the area who need food, we just give it to them. But if we don't have enough food and starving people try to kill us to get our food, well, what do we do then, Lucy? Well, they come from my tacos? You better get your ankle goes on you.